On this epic episode of the Everyman Driver Car Show, the best used vehicle for 2021, cars and trucks, the new countrywide ban on gas and diesel-powered vehicles is true, the top 20 best-selling vehicles in America for 2020, and the truck drag race of the century. There's a lot to consider when buying a used car. Researching used cars to understand important factors such as reliability, safety, and value retention can help you find the right car at the right price. iccars.com analyzed over 20 million cars and narrowed down the best used cars across all vehicle types. The winners are vehicles that have demonstrated long-term reliability, hold their value the best, and have the highest average safety ratings from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. These are the best used, non-luxury, and luxury SUVs across all size categories. Let's begin. The best used compact SUV is the Honda CRV. The CRV is among the best selling vehicles in the country thanks to its demonstrated longevity, efficiency, and above average passenger and cargo room for its class. It also boasts excellent safety scores and below average ownership costs. The runner up in this category, the Subaru Outback. Despite its official designation as a crossover wagon, the Subaru Outback is often compared to compact SUVs. The Outback earns a mention for being a long lasting and safe vehicle with high value retention and is praised for its car like driving dynamics standard all-wheel drive, and class-leading cargo space. The best used luxury compact SUV is the Acura RDX, which is the luxury equivalent of the top non-luxury compact SUV, the CRV. Along with its stellar reliability rating and perfect safety score, the RDX comes with a lower than average price tag and ownership costs. The Toyota Highlander earns the honors as the best used midsize SUV for being a long lasting and safe SUV with high value retention. A popular family hauler, it's roomy and has an accessible third row of seating and plenty of cargo room. It also offers a suite of safety features to add to its solid reputation for reliability. The runner-up for this mid best midsize SUV is the 4Runner, love this vehicle. Built on a truck platform, this durable vehicle offers ample cargo room with an optional third row of seating for those who want a rugged family hauler. Demonstrating Toyota's strong reputation for reliability, the 4Runner is a mainstay on iccars.com's longest lasting vehicles list and is among the midsize SUVs with the best value retention after five years of ownership. The Acura MDX earns the honors as the best luxury midsize SUV for being a long lasting and safe SUV with high value retention. Along with being the longest lasting luxury midsize SUV, it has above average fuel economy for its class and is among the more comfortable and affordable vehicles in the class. The best luxury midsize SUV runner up is the Lexus RX 350, which shares a platform with the overall best midsize SUV winner, the Toyota Highlander. The Lexus RX 350 earns praise for its elegant interior, drive quality, and below average ownership costs. The Chevy Tahoe earns its honors as the best used full-size SUV for being a long-lasting and safe SUV with high value retention. It's one of the more affordable vehicles in the full-size SUV class, making it a practical family hauler for those who require a great deal of cargo and passenger space. The Ford Expedition is the runner-up for the best full-size SUV. Along with its longevity, safety, and value retention, the Expedition is a capable hauler with strong towing capacity and below average ownership costs. The Lincoln Navigator gets the top spot as the best luxury full-size SUV and is the luxury equivalent of the best full-size runner-up, the Ford Expedition. Along with its long-term reliability, it offers an upscale cabin with abundant passenger and cargo space. The Cadillac Escalade is a runner-up for the best luxury full-size SUV. It shares a platform and many of the same materials with the non-luxury full-size winner, the Chevrolet Tahoe. Similar to the Tahoe, it has abundant cargo and passenger space, as well as many available safety features. 
For consumers looking for three rows of seating, the Toyota Highlander is the best three-row SUV thanks to its reliability, safety, and value retention. It also offers a more spacious third row than many of its competitors. Runner-up, the Honda Pilot, a popular family-friendly midsize SUV as well that is backed by Honda's reputation for reliability as one of the longest-lasting SUVs most likely to reach 200,000 miles. Sharing a platform with the Acura MDX overall luxury midsize SUV winner, it offers three spacious rows of seats and functions as a popular minivan alternative for families who want a safe, functional, and spacious hauler. The Acura MDX earns its place as the best luxury three-row SUV for being a long-lasting and safe SUV with high value retention. It also offers an expansive third row and an abundance of cargo space. The full-size Lincoln Navigator is the runner-up for the best luxury three-row SUV. A popular vehicle, the luxury of the Navigator offers three spacious full rows of seating. The compact Toyota Tacoma earns the distinction as the IC car's top pick for the best used compact pickup truck. Toyota has a reputation for building indestructible trucks, which is proven by the performance of the Tacoma. Along with its high reliability and safety ratings, the Tacoma also holds its value better than any other pickup truck. The full-size Tundra from Toyota earns the distinction as the IC car's top pickup for the best full-size pickup truck. Like its compact sibling, the Tacoma, the Tundra is indestructible and earns high reliability and safety ratings. The full-size Silverado 1500 from Chevy is a runner-up for the best full-size pickup truck. Along with above average safety, reliability, and value retention, the Silverado has high towing and payload capacities and a comfortable interior. It is both a capable work truck and a comfortable daily driver. Although the demand for sedans has waned in recent years, the demand for the compact Honda Civic remains very strong. The Civic is known for its reliability and longevity, with many original owners passing the vehicle down to their kids as they reach driving age. The Civic is the longest lasting compact car in terms of likelihood to reach 200,000 miles. And its value retention makes it a good value for consumers. It also has among the best miles per gallon estimates in its class. The Toyota Corolla is the runner up in the best compact car category. Known for its reliability, longevity, and value, it is more likely than vehicles in its class to also reach 200,000 miles and maintains more of its value than its comp competition. The Corolla boasts excellent fuel economy to make the small car a practical option as a daily driver and is among the top of its class for safety scores. The top spot for the best luxury compact car goes to the Lexus IS 250 and 350, which share a platform with the Corolla from Toyota. The Lexus IS is known for its reliability and sophisticated interior, and it also has a full suite of safety features. In the runner-up position for the best luxury compact car is the BMW 3 Series. As one of the most popular small luxury cars available, it has above-average reliability for its class and boasts a perfect safety score. It's also fun to drive thanks to its sporty handling, handling and strong engine options. The Honda Accord earns winner status on the list in the best midsize sedan category. It is the longest lasting vehicle in its segment with above average value retention and perfect safety scores. It also has a comfortable and roomy interior and excellent fuel economy. The Toyota Camry earns runner up position in the best midsize sedan category. It is among the longest lasting vehicles in its segment has above average value retention, and has a perfect safety rating as well. It also comes with many, many active safety features and offers a comfortable ride. The Lexus ES350 earns the distinction as the best luxury midsize sedan. Along with its high scores and reliability, value retention, and safety, it also has below average ownership costs and a sophisticated high-end interior. The runner-up for the best luxury midsize sedan is the Cadillac CTS. It has a perfect safety score and above average reliability and value retention. It also has lower than average ownership costs for the luxury car segment and offers a spacious and comfortable interior. The Toyota Avalon is the best full size sedan. As the longest lasting sedan most likely to reach 200,000 miles, it is known for its longevity and reliability. It also has a perfect safety score, above average value retention, and an upscale interior for its price point. The runner-up for the best full-size sedan is the Chevrolet Impala. It is a reliable vehicle as one of the longest-lasting sedans on the road as well. 
It rides comfortably and has plenty of cargo and passenger space. The Buick LaCrosse earns the top spot as the best large luxury sedan. Along with earning above average reliability ratings and a perfect safety score, it offers a smooth ride and has excellent fuel economy for a large vehicle. Listen carefully, they are banning all gas and diesel engines. It's true. This from CarBuzz.com. In an effort to reduce emissions across the globe, many countries will ban sales of new combustion-powered cars. In the UK, this will come into force in 2030, though automakers will still be allowed to sell some hybrids and plug-in hybrid vehicles until 2035. Norway, on the other hand, is banning sales of combustion cars as early as 2025. The country is already on track to achieve this target, too, because 54% of all new cars sold in Norway in 2020 were fully electric, up from 42.1% in 2019. This impressive achievement makes Norway the first country in the world where EVs are outselling combustion cars. To make EVs more enticing to buyers, Norway offers tax exemptions on electric vehicles and imposes high taxes on gas-guzzling cars. There's still a lot of work to do to increase charging infrastructures and making EVs more affordable, but this is an encouraging step forward in the transition to EVs. Availability of electric cars also helped Norway achieve this milestone as some automakers are focusing on the Norwegian market where there's a high demand for electric vehicles. Demand for Volkswagen's Group EVs was particularly high as Audi e-tron was Norway's best-selling model in 2020 thanks to the introduction of the cheaper e-tron 50 which has a smaller battery pack to keep the prices low. This variant isn't available in the U.S. Uh, of the 141,412 new cars sold in Norway last year, 76,000, almost 77, were EVs. Out of these, Audi's electric SUVs accounted for 9,227. The Tesla Model 3 was Norway's second best-selling model with 7,700 units sold, followed by the Volkswagen ID3, 7,754, and Nissan's Leaf at 5,221. Uh, the popularity of EVs in Norway will only increase next year with the upcoming launches of the Tesla Model Y and Audi Q4 e-tron. As a result, Norway is well on track to becoming the first country in the world where EVs will make up 100% of sales by 2025. So now that the 2020 annual sales figures from nearly every automaker are in, here are the top 20 best-selling vehicles in America from last year. Be prepared to see a lot of SUVs and crossovers on this 2020 bestseller list. To start at number 20, the Subaru Outback, which takes the classic look of a station wagon, but adds a lifted suspension and all-wheel drive for more utility. They sold 153,294 units last year, down 15.4%. The Subaru Forester is next. It does have a refresh on the way, but buyers are still attracted to the existing version of the crossover. It was also Subaru's strongest selling product. They sold almost 177,000 vehicles, down 1.8%. Even with sales down over a quarter from last year, the Ford Escape proved to be a strong seller. It'll be interesting to see, though, how it performs this year when the Bronco Sport has a full year on the market, potentially to lure customers away from this more smoothly styled crossover. Ford sold 178,496 units, down 26.1%. At number 17, the Honda Accord. They sold nearly 200,000, down 25.5%. This is the first of the very few traditional sedans to make the best of our list of 2020. Next at 16, the Jeep Wrangler, a fan favorite for being famously rugged. The company is even expanding their range with a 4XE plug-in hybrid. Total units sold, 201,311, down 12%. A new generation of the Jeep Grand Cherokee will arrive in 2021, but even in its final year, the existing model remains very popular at number 15, 209,786 vehicles sold, down 14%. The latest generation of the Toyota Highlander went on sale in February, and buyers loved it so much that the three-row crossover earned a solid spot on the bestseller list at number 14, 212,276 units sold, down 11.3%. In its first full year of sales, the sixth generation Ford Explorer remained a popular entry in this segment. Although buyers had to deal with a lot of recalls, even so, Ford ended up selling 226,217 vehicles, up 20.9%. 
Now, sales dropped by over a third from last year, but the Nissan Rogue remained a bestseller. A redesigned model went on sale in October of 2020, which should keep the crossover popular going forward. Nissan still sold nearly 228,000 vehicles. The folks shopping for a small sedan or hatchback continue to see the allure of the Corolla with 237,178 vehicles sold, down 22.2%. At number 10 now, the Toyota Tacoma, 238,806 vehicles sold, down just 4%. At number 9, the GMC Sierra with 253,000 vehicles sold, up 8.9%. General Motors reports the sales numbers for the Sierra 1500 and Heavy Duty both separately and together. However, Ford and Ram only offer the total for all variants. For easier comparison, the number mentioned is the sum for all the available models as well. Similar to the Grand Cherokee, there's a new generation of the Civic coming in 2021. Despite its age, the existing Civic still proved popular at number 8. 261,225 vehicles sold, down 19.8%. Now, Chevy had to delay introducing the updated Equinox, but buyers didn't seem to care. Customers still purchased enough of them to be among the best-selling vehicles on the market. 270,994 vehicles sold, down 21.7%. Even in a world where crossovers are increasingly popular, there's still a lot of love for the Camry. For the 2021 model year, the sedan received styling and tech upgrades that should keep it high on the bestseller list this year. In 2020, they sold 294,348 units, down 12.7%. As you may recall, the Honda CRV received a refresh for 2020 that tweaked the styling slightly and a hybrid powertrain option. Buyers responded by putting it at the top five of America's best selling vehicles. 333,502 units sold, down 13.2%. The Toyota RAV4 is the direct competitor with the Honda CRV, and nearly 100,000 more people apparently preferred putting it in their driveway in 2020 with 430. 1,387 units sold, down 3.9%. Yes, pickups are a big business in the U.S. The exciting news from Ram this year was the introduction of the performance-focused TRX with the Hellcat V8. In 2020, they sold 563,676 Ram pickups, down 11%. The Bowties pickups remain very popular in 2020, Chevrolet. 594,000 units were sold, up 3.2%. For the 2021 model year, Chevy made the Silverado available with the Multiflex tailgate. And the Ford F-Series is once again the most popular vehicle among buyers in the U.S. 787,422 units sold, down 12.2%. According to the Blue Oval, its family of trucks has scored the title of America's best-selling pickup, for the 44th straight year. Introducing the truck drag race of the century from Roman and his boys at TFL Studios. In this video, their brand new Ram TRX, which they bought with their YouTube revenue, has to fend off not one, not two, but three differently tuned versions of the Ford F-150. Will the 700 horsepower supercharged super truck prevail? Or will one of the Fords send it home packing? The results are surprising to say the least. Now, the 702 horsepower TRX is the most powerful new production truck you can buy. And alongside the powerful engine, the TRX is home to a host of innovative off-road features. To put the TRX to the test, the team at TFL Studios assembled the Ford Raptor, a tuned F-150, and Shelby F-150 Super Snake. The TRX is part of FCA's Hellcat Everything brand strategy where every vehicle that can fit a V8 under the hood is eventually given the 700 plus horsepower 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 found in the original Challenger Hellcat. Now this strategy is a win on all fronts leading to massive press coverage and the ability to amortize the development costs of the Hellcat drivetrain across a larger breadth of products. To watch the full race from TFL Studios, check out the link below this video. And that's going to wrap it up for today's show. If you have any thoughts or feedback, please leave it in the comments section below. And if you have a topic idea for an upcoming video, jot that down as well. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Adios. Thanks for watching. Please cr click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.